Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Look, I'm having my nails done by someone in an afro. It's Phoebe. Hello. Hello. What you got on your head? Whisker. A what? Whisker. A whisker. What do you look like? Soldier. You look like a soldier. Ah, because she looks like a beef eater. I get it now. Anyhow, Phoebes, who's coming around now? Um, Dad Steve. Granddad Steve. That's right, I am cooking with my dad tonight. He's not a very good cook at all. My dad is not a very good... That's Granddad Steve to you, isn't he? He's not a very good cook. Can you say not a very good cook? Not very good cook. No. He once melted a blancmange in a microwave. Anyhow, let's get going and cook in with him and let's meet him, my dad. Okay guys, we are in the kitchen and here is my dad. Hello dad. Hi. How, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now look at this man, look at this figure of man. Take a good look ladies. And look at those shoes. Unbelievable. What, where did you get those shoes from dad? TK Maxx. TK Maxx. What, they look like bowling shoes? No, they're just trainers. Just trainers, right. Do you want to see my dad in a wig? I think you do. Right. Stay still dad. Okay, that's the afro look. Do you like that? Not bad. Not bad, right. Let's change it again. How do you feel? Stupid. Stupid. Do you want to take it off? In a minute. We'll take it off now if you want, or we'll leave it on your head. Oh, I'll take it off. Cool. What are we making then? We're going to make lemon tuna pasta today. Lemon tuna pasta. You're taking this very seriously. Yeah. Look at your hair's all. Ugh. There's not much left of it to ripple. That is what I have to look forward to, ladies and gentlemen, in years to come. I'm going to have hair like that. Look at that. Check that out. Anyway, if there, I do get quite a lot of middle aged women that watch my videos, so if anyone is interested in this fine specimen man, Take a good look now, and I will give you his email address. Anyhow, Dad, what are we making? Because you're not a very good cook, are you? No. Uh, what's the best meal you've ever made? Sausage and chips, and that's similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I was telling people about how you burnt a blancmange in a microwave. Yes, I did. And how did that happen? Um, and why were you heating up blancmange? You don't heat up blancmange. Well, I just thought I was doing it by the packet, and it just didn't come out very well. So <laughs> not only did he heat up the blancmange, the bowl that was in it went like that, and it stunk. It certainly did. I was like seven or something like that at the time, weren't I? Days after. Right, cool. And so, we are making, today... Lemon tuna pasta. Lemon tuna pasta. And is this your own recipe? Are you shaking? No, I'm not. Are you nervous? No, but not a bit. Oh, I'm going to get stage fright. Is there any me and my dad in my kitchen? Look this is this. bizarre. This. It's me and my dad. This is bizarre. It's not. It's fine. <laughs> Just keep going with it. Look at that tash. Let me see it. It's good. That is a good tash, ladies and gentlemen. Right, what have we got? What have we got? Well, we've got two cans of tuna, tuna chunks and spring water. I prefer to spring water. Most people like um, brine or oil, but I prefer spring water. It's healthier. The ingredient that you actually decided we'd have... Lemon. Lemon, lemon which I wouldn't normally use. Important ingredient, Schwartz lemon pepper. Lemon pepper seasoning. Now, yeah. I feel that's cheating. We should make our own seasoning, but anyhow, we'll go with it. This is my recipe. I know it's a recipe. It's Salad good. cream. Salad cream. Light or ordinary, doesn't yep. make a difference. Cool. Good choice. Do we need anything else? And some black pepper. Oh, we need some vinegar as well. And vinegar. I've got vinegar in the cupboard. I'll get that vinegar out in a minute. Yeah. Okay. That is pretty much all we need, is it? That's all we need. Right, okay. A bowl and fork. But what I've decided to do is chuck in some pasta mm. because there is no way for dinner, me and Mrs. Barry and Mr. Grandad Steve here are going to eat a sandwich. We're going to eat pasta, baby. So, why don't we heat up this pasta first of all? That is fusilli pasta. What do you think? Curly. Pardon? Curly. Curly. Right, we heat that pasta up and we'll see you in just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just went everywhere, didn't it? Yeah. And the pasta. Dad, this isn't a very good start. No, it's not a good start. Right. When you open pasta, be careful. I don't my best. This is a father son chat, the other way around. You need to be careful. Look, I'm older. I know you are. Less, you should... less skill now. Never in the first place. We're going to heat up the water in the pan, get it nice and boiling, then we're going to put the pasta in carefully, aren't we, Dad? We are. Yeah. Right, Dad, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just scooping up the mess. Yeah, I know, but you're putting the pasta in the pan. You need to get the water hot first, then put the pasta in. Okay, whatever. Okay. This is going to be hard work. Right, so I've got my dad a pan of water there with a bit of salt in it. Do you know how to use my cooker? I'm going to find out. How does it like, man? How does it light, man? He's trying to be cool. How does it light, man? Dad, push it, push it in. I have pushed it. You're going to blow up the house. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat around, otherwise we're gonna just all blow up. It's not good. This is crazy. Okay, so we haven't got to call the fire brigade out, and we did manage to get the pan on. We certainly did, because you were the one who messed up, not me. It wasn't me. Yes, it was you. What? I have video evidence of you trying you to get didn't that... didn't turn the gas on. <laughs> yes, I did. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Right. Is that going to be enough pasta for three people down there? No. Let me see that. No, it's not. Nowhere near it. So you're going to need more pasta, aren't you? I certainly am. So while that's heating up, can you tell people what you normally have this in? Because we don't normally have it in pasta, do you? Normally, this is for sandwiches. Sandwiches. So you, what you need is roughly for two people, eight pieces of bread, buttered. Uh, you My get, God, you're an attractive you, man. One day flattery, I will look like you. Flattery will get you nowhere. Well, hopefully it'll make me a nice dinner. <laughs> yeah, anyway, normally makes enough sandwiches for two people, four pieces of bread, you make the mixture, spread it over four pieces of bread, put the other four on top, Yeah. and then you cut them in quarters, and you've got enough for two people. You usually have it with chips if you want, or anything else. Chips? Like accompaniment. Yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, really nice, really nice. Yeah. Right, okay, Dad, cool. Right, that's heating up. Getting there really slowly, we'll put a pan on that, lid on that, just to speed it up a bit. Don't you think? Yeah, why not? What does that do? Right, my dad's found this massive saucepan lid, but there is one that does fit, I promise you, and he's down there looking. Okay. Put the back of his head. Nice! Nice fit, Dad. Right, meanwhile, while that's... Oh my gosh. That's my kitchen, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue my own dad. Claim, claim culture here. Right, let's get the ingredients in a bowl and mix it. That's what we're doing, right? Yeah. So you need to find a mixing bowl, don't you? Yeah. So that's not a mixing bowl! It's a bit bigger than that, it'll do nicely. That's got a pasta anyway, you need a mixing have you got bowl. Have a mixing bowl somewhere? Have you got one in there? Yes, I have. Ah, I can't stop looking at the bowl. That will do. That will do. That is an amazing yeah, mixing bowl. Easy. The things I have made in that. Don't put it on the flames! It's not on the flame. <sighs> you are hard work. That was really close. Alright. Look at my dad. Is a technique in opening a tin of tuna. Look at that. Come on! Oh my god! Stop it. You really are that bad, are you? I really am not used to your What, what else do you eat? Well, I've got a can opener, we'll do this in two seconds. This is amazing. What is it? That, it's a can opener. Yeah, but it didn't do the baby job. What do you mean, doing a good job? It's all about good the person. Job, no, oh, there we go. Oh, oh check that out. Took the hand break off. Amazing. Right. Right, what do you do? That is tuna in water, not brine or oil. Yes, we, we drain it off, okay? <laughs> drain it off. Right, brilliant. What we do is. Do, 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 do. Look at that technique. Good draining action, Dad. Amazing. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely first class. Right. You got a knife? Have I got a knife? Yes, yeah. I have. Is that tuna just going in there, is it? Yes, I need to get out a little bit. We'll get the tuna in the bowl. What the hell is that shadow? Oh, that's better. We'll get the tuna in the bowl. Look at my dad with his pimp watch and ring. Look, check that out. Look like a rapper. Oh, well, there you are. Can you rap? No. No. Can you sing? Give us a song, Dad. Give us a song. Oh. You want too much. <laughs> well, that's One tin out. done, yeah, the other tin is going in. Right, check that out. What else do you need, Dad? A fork. A fork? Yeah, to break Say it down. Say that again. I need a fork to break it down. For fork's sake. Right, right. get rid of all of them. Break it down! Yep. You are a rapper. Um, okay. So this is getting rid of all the lumps? Yeah, get rid of all the lumps. So you can actually make it into... It smells like cat food. It smells like cat food. Cat food. You live off this? Oh no, just now and again. What has happened to your hair? Look, it goes like that. Yeah, that's good. When you're older, you'll soon understand. One of the words my hairdresser, eh? Keep going then. Is it all breaking up? Yeah, breaking up slowly. You just don't need big lumps in it, that's all. It really does scared. smell of cat. Yeah, it was good. It's a good cat. Good cat, good cat. Like, good dog, good dog. My dad is currently looking for the pepper. I can see it. Can you see it, viewers? Come on, dad. That's pepper. Yes! That's it! But I want, I want it ground. I don't want it peppercorns. Hey, that's what you do. You ground it up. Good. It's got a grinder on the end of it. Excellent. It's not peppercorns. We're not making steak. Good. Oh, dad. All right. right. So you've got your tuna. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just check out that water a minute? See if it's boiling? That's no, not boiling. Cool. I normally use a cloth. I don't like burning my hands, but you're hardcore, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you do for a job then, Dad? Postman. Postman. Do you like it? It's not bad. What, what does that job entail? Just delivering a few letters and parcels to people. Do you like it? Yeah? It's fun? Yeah, it's good exercise. You meet a lot of people. Yeah? Yeah. Right, so what are you actually doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I've never had one of these before, so this is all new to Dad. me. <laughs> Dad! Right, okay, right. 
That is a lid. Take that off. There's a, there's a little lid. There's a little lid on that. You were just like it was just like grinding. Like yeah, well I don't know, do I? You were telling tell me what these things are like. So oh I've never right. Before. That grind that bit off. Take this lid off. Yeah. Okay. Right. That is the grinder in there. See. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, you've got a bit already from your pre-grinding exercise. Excellent. So top that in there. Yeah, that's all right. It's now problem. you need to work it. Work it, boy. Go and catch this falling down. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Now, how much are you putting in? Just enough. <laughs> Just enough. So how do you know when it's enough? Guesswork. Pardon? Guesswork. Alright. That should be okay. That should be okay. So, I reckon there's probably about a good teaspoon in there. That stinks now! That really stinks of pepper. You wait till I put the other stuff in. I'm going to put the lemon pepper in now, okay? Lemon pepper seasoning. Just, right, okay. Do double what I normally do with the other one can, so... Yeah, because you're making for a lot of people. Yeah. Nice! So this is a seasoning made by Schwartz that you can buy in most yeah, supermarkets, most yeah? Yeah, most sell it, yeah. Alright, cool. That is, I tell you what, that is a lot on there. There is a lot on it. But, but that, a, it's called lemon pepper. Yeah, but you've got to remember, it's two cans of tuna to what I'd normally do. No, 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 no. What, what I'm saying is you've already put black pepper in there. Yes. And now you're putting in lemon yes. pepper, so there's already yes. pepper in that. It's just add, just a flavour, that's so. all. Just add body to it. Your personal choice, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. If I don't poison you, nobody will. Right, vinegar. Vinegar. Just soak the, soak the old, uh, can you do any accents, Dad? In America, they say vinegar. Can you try and do an American accent and say, oh my god! Like, oh my god! Just give it a good soak. Jesus, how much vinegar are you putting in there? That's going to stink! It's going to be brilliant. That's uh, not enough. It's a matter uh, of what taste. Oh god, Dad, that's horrible. Well, it won't be when I finish with it. Alright, keep going. Yep, <laughs> just mix it in. Right, so my dad's mixing away in the corner there. Look at that. Cha ching. Ding, ding, ding. I've suggested putting a little bit of lemon zest in there, which is what we've got. And I'm going to get my dad, dad to zest it up. You don't normally do that, do you, Daddy? No. No. But this would you is, like to do it? It's your bright idea. No. My I'll bright put, idea? I'll, I'll putting film. a little bit of lemon zest I'll in with a lemon you. dish. I'll film you doing it. No. Nah, it's cheating. I do that loads of times. This is all about you today, Daddy. Right, right there you go, Dad. Okay. Check out that slender figure. What is that tattoo? What is that? Which one? Does it go all the way around? It stops. That's a Celtic one. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't go England. all the way around. No, that wasn't designed to go Could you not around. afford the other to get it all the way around? Well, no, I had a deal. It looks like a bracelet. It doesn't actually go all What's the way around. What's this? That's my Indian one, Indian feathers. Looks like something from the Karate Kid. Oh. Right, so you're zesting the lemon. Keep your eye on that zest there, it's quite sharp. I don't want you to grate your finger off. I don't think we want to have too much of that, but no, um, no, just enough, I think. Give it a bit. That much, just, just to give it a thing, then if that's what you want. Yeah, I want a bit of texture in there. Mm. A bit of natural lemon essence. Not this stuff that's been kept in that shell for years. We're serious about this, you know? Right, so my dad's finished zesting the lemon and decided to put it on top of the cooker for some reason. That's a little dangerous, Dad. You are living on the edge, my friend. Yeah, it's nowhere near the heat. Well, there's a flame right there, and if I turn the tap, or the tap, the gas thing on, it could burn you. Oh dear. Alright, okay. Right, so we've got the lemon there. Yep. I want you to leave that, and we're going to cut that in thin slices to make a funky garnish. Okay. We've got a little bit of salad in that bag at the end, which we're going to do just to make it look pretty. It might not make it taste any nicer, but it's sure going to look good, isn't it, Dad? <laughs> You're certainly going to look good. Yeah, right, okay, cool. So why don't you put that lemon zest in there? Amazing. How's that water doing? Oh, Jesus! Okay, it's already. Right, you want to pour your pasta in there in a minute, don't you? Certainly do. Pasta in. Sorry, pasta in. Okay, right, in goes the pasta. That's Is that right. enough now? Well, it's the three of us, I think it should be about right. Alright, I would have poured it all in together, to be honest, and weighed out first. But that does look like there's enough, that's all good. That takes 10 to 12 minutes to cook, Dad, I'm sure you know that. Yes, obviously I do. Right, okay, cool. When we drain it off, we're going to leave a little bit of the pasta water in there as well, and then return it and mix it all together, that's the main idea. But, we need to carry on with our mixing, making this concoction, don't we? We've got the lemon zest in there. Yes. How's it smelling? We're going to mix it in first, before we put the salad cream in, the final ingredient. Um, I think the lemon what? zest might... That's another uh, tattoo, what's that say? Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson, you a big motorbike fan? Yes I am. What motorbike have you got? I've got a Buell Ulysses, it's uh, made by Harley Davidson. It's a uh, adventure trailer. <laughs> I love it, your serious voice. I've got a BMX uh, 215. I've actually got a BMX by the way, I haven't got a, mountain bike, a motorbike or mountain bike, so... Uh, but you've never BMX's. But you've never been on the back of me yet. I don't want to go on the back of you, that sounds really rude. Oh my god, Dad! Turn the heat down! Turn the heat down. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Nearly killed us. Oh, that's good. Just like Blamange. Just like Blamange. That haunts me. That haunts me. The Blamange story haunts me. 
Okay, Dad, we are still alive and you've got the salad cream in your hand. Now, yes. that is a big tub of salad cream. Yes. What's the capacity of that? Let's have a look at that bad boy. 460 grams. Yeah, How much are you, you going to put in? Oh, quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. See, in America, you have like cup sizes, and I'm not talking about bras. In England and other countries, all grams and stuff. But my dad does the quantity what... quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay, so remember that. We're quite a bit. Mix it in and see how the consistency turns out with this amount so far. Dad, that pan's making noises again. Look, you're being naughty, Daddy. Keep your eye on it, please. I'm not having you destroy my kitchen. Have we just turned the heat up? No. It sounds like it. Yeah. Alright. Right. It's probably enough, so. That's just now. looking like tuna mayo now to me, Dad, if I'm honest. Well, that's what it was supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> you haven't, you've turned the heat up. You've turned the heat up. Right, Dad. No, I didn't. Oh my gosh. I turned it down. Am I going to have to like discipline you? Give us some like, self control lessons. <laughs> <laughs> this is if I way don't survive, I leave like everything to Phoebe and Mrs. Barry. <laughs> right, so you're saying that's done, is it? Yeah, that's done. Have a little taste. It's very sweet and tangy. Mm. It's not bad, actually. The dad, the granddad, granddad Steve, has done well. Well done, sir. Thank you. But I would keep an eye on your pan if I were you. What yeah. do you keep doing to my pan? Fantastic. Right. Fantastic. Very good. Right. Okay. So we might as well leave this for a little bit. Yeah, we just cover it over. And, and we'll get our salad in there. And once that pasta's done, which should ideally be another two minutes, although you might have scorched my pan, we'll mix it all together and see what it comes out like. Yeah. So, sounds quite good. Are you nervous? No. Are you cool? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. My dad is sharpening up that knife. Right. Like you <laughs> <laughs> you're just tapping it. No, it's not how you do it, right? Be careful, you're going to cut your finger off. Right, so sharpen the knife for my dad, and he's now going to cut it into thin slices. Watch your finger. Oh, that's gone. Just kidding. My dad was sort of like getting his knife thing and going like doing some sort of weird tappy dance. I don't know, he's like a Morris dancer or something, aren't you? Dad? Are you a part time Morris dancer? Uh, that was last century. Okay, cool. Right. We just need a couple of thin slices, that'll look good, that'll make our funky garnish up. The pasta is nearly done as well, so we are finally there guys. Thank you for putting up with this video so far. Okay, I've just checked that pasta and it is done, it's all nice and soft. Thank you for turning that down at last. You're welcome. Wait. No, that's a sieve! <laughs> you said you've got to drain it, so we can put it through here, be quiet. Yeah, but Dad, that's for flour and stuff, you need a colander, I said colander. Okay, I have a colander there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is not staged, by the way. I wish it was, because it's kind of... I would kind of think my dad's a little bit more. Right. That's better. Right, be careful. You've got boiling hot water. Don't look at the camera. Okay. Good boy. Right, cool. Right, just take it straight back into that pan for a minute. Let it sit back in there. Right, that'll do. And we might as well pour it straight into our bowl there, because you want to keep that pasta nice and moist. In that goes. Wow, check out that steam. Got a spoon? Stir it all through. There's a wooden spoon for you, sir. Just wow, just smoking. Just stir. like our kitchen might just have been. Just for stirring. Yeah, stir that all through. It's quite thick, isn't it? Yeah, it's very thick. Right, so my dad's finished stirring that through. It's looking kind of good. A little bit dull, a little bit, but how, how are you feeling it, Dad? Are you liking it? I think it tastes really great. Well, can we see you taste it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. It's getting nice a little bit. Yeah, not too much. Remember, it's for free people. Christ. Mm. Yeah? Quite quite zesty, especially with that zest of lemon. It's really, really nice. Yeah. It's a different thing on the sandwich, isn't it? You know, it's, it's, even, yeah, it's, it's your choice. It's, yeah, absolutely. Customise it. Make it your own. Right. A little bit of these salad leaves. I want us to chuck them in there. Just a few, because while it's still hot, it'll wilt the leaves. And I want to just add a little bit of colour to it. Cool. And can we put some a little bit of rosemary in there as well? Not too much. You think Do you you ever, have you ever met anyone called rosemary? Uh, yes. And what, are they nice? She was. She, <laughs> she was. What happened to years, rosemary? Years ago. What happened to her? I don't know. The, the ship that passed in the night, was it there? Someone I worked with. Someone you worked with? Oh, okay. Right, stir that through. I'm gonna put a bit more salad than that in there, please. Can you chuck it in? That's your... it. Just cut it all in and hopefully it will sweat the leaves a little bit. Cool, and then we'll serve this up and see what it tastes like. Right, so the leaves have wilted a little bit and that is actually looking quite edible. I am, I'm very proud of you, Dad. You're welcome. Right, do you want to do the clicky finger thing? Do you want to have a go at that? Oh, I didn't mean click your fingers so that it goes back to me, I meant click the fingers so it clears the chopping board, like this. Cool, that's nice and clean. Right, grab yourself a plate, Dad. Put it down. Amazing, now click your fingers. No, click your fingers so I can see the screen. Down, lower. 
Amazing, so that's there. Why don't you put a little bit more salad around there, Dad? No, 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 click your fingers, click your fingers. So I can see it. Fantastic, couldn't have done it better myself. How about putting those lemon slices on there? Yeah? Yep. Amazing, great job, check that out. That would be served in a five-star restaurant, don't you think? I reckon so. Right, let's go and see what it tastes like. Okay. He's nervous. Right here then, it's been a long time, but we've got there. Thanks for sticking with us. Dad, do you want to have the first fork fall? Look, we've got two forks there. It's kind of like a romantic thing, you know, um, from that Disney film with the dogs. I don't know where they do the spaghetti thing. Yeah, go for it, Dad. Loving yeah, it? Really lovely. Really Let's notice you've got a Christmas tree in the background. It's not Christmas. You like it? I love it. Let me try it. Hold the camera, Dad. This is Daddy Cam. Here we go. Ooh, tell you what, that is darn good. Thank now, you. if my dad can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Be safe. Let me know how you get on. And I will see you again on the next video. Cheers. High five.